I'm back, baby. Sorry for that. Hi. So today is Sunday, but I feel like I want to work because this week was a weird one, and I'm honest. And we are in quarantine, so everything is a big block of time. I should be driving the comic for next week. I really want to do it, but I have to to draft a stuff that I'm not used to. I'm not sure how I want to make it. So I thought that maybe I could draw something more easy and fun with you and later try to do the real thing. Yesterday I said some pics of dragons. How cute are they? So I am ready for this. I'm not ready at all. Wish me luck. So this is really weird for me because I don't usually show people how I draw. Well, lately I've been making a kind of online show on Twitch with with a friend. I'm getting more used to to people seeing me drawing, but I draw really quick stuff and I do nothing much about it. Okay, I feel really rusty, so I'm going to try to learn stuff about raccoons. They have this kind of body that you <laughs> really can see. I don't really use real life reference for my drawings or and I don't use to I'm not used to to doing this. So I really like to make things um, with proportions really <laughs> unrealistic. Okay I'm trying to not really draw a good, good stuff. Okay, I'm just trying to see how I understand the shape. <laughs> I love that raccoons have hands. They are like fat cats with, with hands and a big nose. You know what? I'm going to keep drawing raccoons. My plan was to draw just quick. Get it and keep it simple. Sometimes it's better for me to draw from memory because I'm not comparing the drawing to the reality. I'm drawing literally in my in my own way. But if I wanna learn to draw these these babies, I first need to know them, and then I probably could be, be drawing them from memory. Me exposing myself with a big blanket of awful. Do I look like a tomorrow? I'm trying outside. You can see it on the peak, but it's clearly right outside. Okay, making mess, but I'm really trying to not. I'm not thinking. And maybe later I'm um, not able to draw this stuff. Oh, what a shit. Oh, yeah. More, more, more. So now I did everything of interest. I'm going to draw using just my, my big mess a reference to see if I can get some kind of simplification of these babies. And we'll go back to the pictures later. Which, please? It is two Canadian feminist literary professors reading Harry Potter and discussing it at the level you would in a college class. What they, what listening to that podcast did was made me realize that the Harry Potter books are not the progressive, forward-thinking uh, stories that I thought they were as a young person. If you read back through them, they are full of fat phobia, queer phobia, classism, a lot of weird kind of like not really great stuff about race um using semitism yeah. yes there's just a lot of actually really problematic stuff in there that it deserves to be called out and basically if you read them you will realize that actually jk rowling has always been this way it's us that we're not as 
like our eyes were not as opened to this in the 90s. We were children um, also. <laughs> <laughs> we were children. Um, yes. So, but here's the thing, is you can love a flawed book because every book is flawed. Every human is flawed. And for me, having these like joyfully deep conversations about the problematicness of Harry Potter is just so fun that like it actually, I would say I am a bigger fan of Harry Potter in the last two to three years than I am that I was in like the five years before that when I was just kind of like, oh yeah, I like Harry Potter. Now I'm like, Harry Potter is full of problems. Let's talk about it. So yeah, I would recommend that podcast and yeah, just like be open to flawed things and just be like, yeah, it's got problems and uh, let's shout about that. The way we always end the show is by asking, in your ideal world, what would the future of gender look like? In my ideal world, all children would be raised gender non-binary and would uh, use a gender non-binary pronoun, either EMA or AMA or they them or whatever, until puberty. I record the screen for some of the video, but I always give the video option on, on Procreate, but it looks terrible because I made the five delete. So this is what I have. Sorry. I'm learning. I like how these three fat babies look. So I'm going to try to even them this and grab them in a paper. I'm not going to print this time. And then I'm going to grab them in paper and then I probably transfer this to a better paper. The idea was to make a little bit size to practice, but I already have like a finished product, so I feel like I did more work. <laughs> I can prove myself that I can make cute illustrations with this style and not only draft chicks. There are more things in the world, Clara. And drawing I know is so fun. que ja no és un somni suaument s'apropa perquè la caroni i em diu que mai no es fa Ja no és un somni Suaument S'apropa perquè la caroni I em diu Que em fa un racó On diu Que ara Que em pot 
portan a un yo del que no et puc So that's it. I hope you like the video on these babies. See you soon. Maybe.